Hi everyone, this is a tutorial on how to use Handbrake. Now what Handbrake is, is a fairly simple DVD ripping tool as well as a video converter. Now it may look complex at first, but it is a fairly simple application once you know how to use it. And that's what I'm going to show you how to do today. Now it can convert any, pretty much any video for your iOS devices, so your iPod Touch, uh, your iPod, you know, your classics, iPhone, iPad, and even the new Apple TV. And it also can convert DVDs so you can play those on your iOS device or a computer. So to download Handbrake, you're going to need to go to handbrake.fr. And you'll see this page here. And from there you go to the download page, which is right here. And you download your version. So you have the options to download Intel 64-bit or Intel 32-bit. And I'll get into that in a second. This works on Leopard and Snow Leopard, so a lot of users are supported. Uh, but it doesn't work for PowerPC Max. So you're also going to need VLC if you want to be able to rip DVDs. And VLC is a media player. And you can download VLC from videoland.org slash VLC. Now, once you go to that page, you are going to select your version here, 32-bit uh, or 64-bit. Now, if you're confused on what 32 and 64-bit is, it's not as confusing as it sounds. If you don't know which version to install, you can find some documentation on the Handbrake website that will help you with that. It's not that confusing once you look at it. Uh, the 64-bit version does run about 10% faster, uh, and that's the benefit of it. But if you're not sure, it's safest just to go with the 32-bit version as it should work on everything. So you're going to need to install VLC and you're going to need to make sure that's in your applications folder. You don't need to have VLC open in order to use this. So it's not a, a huge thing. It just can sit in your applications folder. So Handbrake, once you open it, it's pretty simple. I do have the 64-bit version. Not that it really matters. But what's going to happen is you're going to see this drop down menu come up right when you start and it's going to give you a selection that you can look anywhere on your computer to find media. Now in this case I'm just going to show you a DVD, I have a copy of Gilligan's Island in here. So you're going to select that and what it's going to do is it's going to scan the source. Now this can take maybe a minute or two so just be patient and it'll finish up. First I'd like to just show you around the handbrake GUI, uh, the graphical user interface. On the right hand side here you have this little presets pane that comes up and it gives you all the different presets for different devices so iPods, iPhones, the iPhone 4 which would be Retina Display Optimized I'm guessing, iPad and then your Apple TV. Uh, you don't really have to worry about this if you just want to convert a normal file. The normal setting should do it good enough. So up here you see the chapters and you can select what chapters you want to encode and this tells you where it's going to put the file and it just normally puts it right to your desktop you can select other locations now you can convert this to an mp4 or mkv file it's safest to stay with mp4 if you want playback on your ios devices you can also choose between web optimized ipod 5g support and large file size you can choose between two different video codecs and if you don't know really which one to choose you can just leave it on h264 it doesn't really matter I find that encoding it with MPEG-4 works a little bit faster, but it's not something you really need to work up, worry about. And you can also choose your frame rates, you can leave that alone too. There's a quality slider here, and if you want the highest quality video, I would suggest putting it all the way up. You can also choose your bitrate and target size megabytes. Uh, those aren't really something you really need to play with either. And down here it just tells you what your picture size source is and the output and resolution. So it's 720 by 480 and output is 720 by 480. And up here you can add things to your queue to encode while you're encoding other things. And this just shows you what's in the queue and there's nothing in there right now. So before I start this, I just want to warn you about copyrights. Uh, there are copyrights on a lot of DVDs copy protection. Now circumventing this is illegal, so you're going to really need to watch out if your DVD has copy protection. It's not something you're going to want to uh, rip in order to abide by laws and also it is legal to make a personal copy of a DVD for your own home use but going around the copy protection is not legal so this is something you want to handle with caution I'm gonna hit start but I'm not gonna actually finish encoding the DVD 
I'm only going to show you what happens when you start it because I really want to abide by copyright laws. So it says encoding here and it does it in one pass. You can choose two pass right here and it tells you how long it's going to take. Now it says this is going to take 3 hours and 22 minutes to complete. And it's actually going down quite fast but so this is going to take a while. It's not even, you know, 0.15% through it. So, you know, go do something else while this is working because it will take a while. Now I'm just going to hit stop because I don't really want to do this now. Yeah. Um, but I will show you uh, converted a different video that I have. The, actually, the first part of this video so you can see what actually happens. So I'll show you that now. So right here I have the first part of the video that you just watched and I am going to show you how to convert that now. Hi everyone, this is a tutorial on how to use Handbrake. Now what Handbrake is, so you can kind of see the uh, video there and it's, you know, a fairly good quality. And I have the source already selected and that is the movie on the desktop. Now I'm going to leave pretty much everything alone. All I'm going to do is slide the quality slider all the way up. Now, I forgot to mention these tabs right here, these audio, subtitles, advanced, and chapters tabs. Now, these are tabs that, unless you're a pro user, you really don't have to worry about. They're nothing too complex, or they're pretty complex, so you probably don't want to use them unless you really feel like you need to. Uh, they're somewhat confusing, and you generally won't need to use them. So I'm just going to hit start, and this is about a six-minute video, so it's going to... Uh, encode it right now and this is going to take about 23 minutes it's saying so I will come back when it's done and I'll show you the quality so I finished encoding the file and it exports in a .m4v file format instead of the .mov it was in now I'm just going to compare the quality to show you that this does do a very good job so here's the original hey everyone this is a tutorial on how to use handbrake now what handbrake is is a fairly simple and here is the ripping new tool. one everyone this is a tutorial on how to use handbrake now what handbrake is so it is pretty much virtually impossible to tell the difference uh, the one that I just encoded is a little bit of a smaller file size and that has something to do with the settings I used but and the formatted export in. but this is an easy and handy way to convert any files you want uh, into a playable format for your iPod or iPhone, or even the Apple TV, and it also is a very easy way to rip DVDs if you want to do that. So that's about all for this. I hope you found this tutorial useful, and uh, thank you for watching.